Hello and welcome to News Review from BBC Learning English. I'm Neil and joining me is Catherine. Hi Catherine. Hello Neil and hello everybody. Yes, last week saw the death of Diego Maradona, the world famous footballer. His doctor has been accused of not taking care of him properly. OK, well, if you want to test yourself on any of the vocabulary you learn in this programme, there's a quiz on our website, bbclearningenglish.com. Now let's hear some more about this story about Diego Maradona from this BBC News report. Maradona was 60 years old and had struggled with obesity, diabetes and substance addiction through much of his life. He had recently had an operation to remove a blood clot from his brain and his family questioned Dr. Lucas' decision to release him from hospital so soon. Maradona's daughter said at the time that her father was surrounded by blood suckers who didn't really care about his well-being. So Argentinian footballer Diego Maradona died last week at the age of 60. He had various health problems, including diabetes and substance dependency. He'd recently had a brain operation as well. Now his doctor is being accused of not looking after him properly. You've been looking at the various uh, news stories about this on the internet. and You've picked out three words that are useful to talk about it. What have we got? Yes, we have negligence, breaks down and raids. Negligence, breaks down and raids. Let's start then with your first headline. Yes, we're starting in Australia today with SBS News. The headline, there is no medical negligence. Maradona's doctor claims innocence. Negligence. Failure to take enough care. Yes, it's a noun. It's spelled N-E-G-L-I-G-E-N-C-E -E, and the pronunciation is negligence. OK, interesting pronunciation. We've got two G's in a short space, but they're pronounced differently. They are indeed. The first G is pronounced G and the second G, which is followed by an E, is pronounced J. So we have negligence, negligence. Right. Now, when we talk about negligence, it's fairly serious, isn't it? We're not talking about forgetting to bring your laptop to work or something like that. No, that's just being forgetful. Negligence is where you don't do something that you really should do or you're required to do by law. And if you don't do it, something bad, very bad may result. Yeah, so we often see this word in combination with the, the area that it concerns it. For example, uh, medical negligence. Yes, or we can have corporate negligence, for example. And it's often used in the context of accusations or even criminal or civil lawsuits. So it's very much used in legal terms as well. Yeah, so negligence is when someone or some body neglects its duty. You use the verb form there, Neil. I heard that. Yes, neglect is the verb form and neglect is also a noun as well. So if you neglect a child or a child experiences neglect, it means you're not looking after its basic needs properly. And often, again, the authorities will step in. There might be police or social workers involved. Yes, and there's also an adjective. Uh, neglected, yes, if a child is neglected, or in this case, if Di if Diego Mar Maradona's health care was neglected, there will be serious consequences. Yes, and we can also say that someone or something is negligent. Yes, that is also the adjective form. Uh, you can be negligent. OK, let's have a summary. If you would like to hear another story about negligence and neglect, we have one about air pollution. Where can they find it, Catherine? You can find that story by clicking the link. Right, now it's time for your next headline. It is, and we are now in the UK looking at the star. The headline, Diego Maradona's doctor breaks down in tears during press conference after police raid. 
breaks down, starts crying. Now, in this headline, there's a clue because it says breaks down in tears. But we don't need the in tears and it still means crying, doesn't it? Absolutely, yes. Now, breaks down, B-R-E-A-K-S, second word D-O-W-N. If you break down, it means you really start to cry kind of very emotionally, very suddenly, and you can't really control yourself. Now, this is not the kind of crying that you get at the end of a film, Neil, when, when you're watching a sort of sad film and you get a little tear comes to your eye. Do you ever get that? When I'm, when I'm watching one of those Disney Pixar films with my kids and it's got the... <laughs> The bit that appeals to the grown-ups uh, and the tear appears. No, no, this is not breaking down. That's just a little... Just a little no, tear. that's not breaking down. When your kids go, Daddy, why are you crying? And there's a little tear down your eye. No, break. if you break down, you really lose control of your, of your emotions. You cry very loudly. You cry very suddenly. You really kind of can't control yourself. And it's not a nice experience. It's a human experience, but it's not like you enjoy a sad film film crying this is proper kind of losing control crying sobbing almost lo getting hysterical yeah yeah it can be for happy reasons though as well oh yes you know if something really good happens that you've been waiting for a long time you've been you, know, you had an exam result that's really important to you you get the grade you wanted you might break down in tears of happiness or tears of relief um, so it's not always breaking down because of bad things, but often it is. We get a shock, we get bad news, there's a crime being committed, somebody dies, you have a really bad breakup and you lose all control of your emotions and you cry loudly and noisily and people can't calm you down. That's what we mean by to break down. Yeah, so that's the verb and we've got two words there, break and down. There is a noun, a breakdown which is one word, but that's slightly different, isn't it? We're talking about a, a full sort of emotional collapse. Yes, yeah. If you have a breakdown, you may well cry uncontrollably, but often it's more to do with a sort of um, a mental health issue. So if you have a breakdown, a psychological breakdown, um, as well as crying, you've got other associated difficulties and you probably need some professional help or some, certainly some time and treatment to, to help you to recover from that. Now, like many phrasal verbs, breakdown has various meanings uh, which may not seem connected, but we think there is a connection between them. So, for example, over the weekend, my car broke down. Now, it doesn't mean it started crying, does it? No, but it does mean it wasn't working like it normally would. And if we think of, although break, breaking down in tears is something that happens to most of us and it's part of being human, you're kind of not on the normal functioning that you would expect and like to have on a daily basis. Just as your car, if it stops working, it breaks down and doesn't work anymore. When a human breaks down and cries, you're not doing what you'd normally do on a, on a good day, let's say. OK, let's have a summary. So for a happier sporting story, we have one about Rafael Nadal, the Spanish tennis player who won his 20th Grand Slam recently. Where can they find it, Catherine? They can find this story by clicking the link below. OK, on to your next headline, please. Yes, we're now at the BBC. The headline, Diego Maradona, Police Raid, House and Clinic of Doctor. Raid. Action by police in which they suddenly enter a building. Yes, so this is spelt R-A-I-D. It can be a verb and it's also a noun, raid. OK, so we're talking here about a, a sudden and very dramatic uh, break into a property. Yes, very dramatic. In order to try to find something or someone. That's exactly it. Often done by the police or it can be done by the army, the military. They surround a house, but they do it very quietly and by stealth so that the people in the house or other building don't know that they're there. Then suddenly in they go. Often they have to force the door. They go in and they 
um, make sure everything's secure and then they look for something or they try to do something that they need to do inside that house. So surprising, it's very forceful, often done at night time when people aren't expecting it. In they go and then they look for usually a person or drugs or in the doctor's case we don't know what they were looking for or trying to do but something they had to do in the house and they wanted to do it by surprise. Now the word raid is the sort of word that ordinary people use and also obviously in news headlines. It's probably not the official term for this type of action that the police would use or the military? There's probably in the in their documentation there'll be a, a particular way of saying it but for you and me in the papers we say the police did a raid or the police raided the house or building or, or nightclub or whatever. Yeah and the people involved in the raid are raiders. They are raiders yes. And uh, you will know that name if you're a fan of films you'll know Tomb Raider, Raider and also Raiders of the Lost Ark. That's right, yes. OK, let's have a summary. Time now then for a summary of our vocabulary, please. Yes, we had negligence, failure to take enough care. We had breaks down, starts crying and we had raid, action, by police in which they suddenly enter a building. Don't forget to test yourself on the vocabulary on our website at bbclearningenglish.com. We're also all over social media. Take care and goodbye. Goodbye.